Hello guys, um, the introvertible here. Um, it's currently um about um about nine o'clock I think. Oh, sorry about that. Um, I was trying to check the time. I think it's about nine o'clock. And um, today we are going to be doing um another CD showcase. I have not done one of these in quite a while. I haven't done them since my birthday, where I did the Black Parade CD showcase. And today we are going to be doing a CD showcase of the self-titled Paramore album. The my Chemical Romance 3 Cheers for Sweet Revenge album, boom, Panic at the Disco's Pretty Odd, and um, Panic at the Disco's also Panic at the Disco's Two Hits of Terror to Die, and last of all, Hayley Williams's um, Pedals for Armor. And yeah, as I was saying, um, this album, Hayley Williams for Armor, I just had to have a little chat to someone. So today we're going to be doing a CD showcase of all these albums, starting right now. So the first album we'll be looking at today is Hayley Williams' Paddles for Armored that came out around um, uh, later this year. Um, so first of all, here's the front of it, which has um, Hayley Williams' face on it and a bunch of a bunch of spots which um, match up her little uh, square tattoos that are on her hand, that's on her left hand. And then here's the back of it where, I don't know if you can see it, wait, hold on. Let me try and get the camera to focus. On the back, you have all the tracks on this album, all 15 tracks and some little description here if it wants to focus, hold on. A bunch of like Atlantic records and stuff like that. You know, just background stuff. And I'm going to get the CD open up, so I'll be right back. So here is the inside of the Pedals for Armor CD. Here is um, the, Haley, the Haley Williams Pedal for Armor CD. And if you remove it, you see it's a photo shoot of, um, it's a photo shoot of her in like some clothing and, and her looking pretty sinister. I don't know. Yeah, that's that. And over here, if, oh God, oh, oh my God, I'm in the way. My shadow's in the way. And over here, you have a bunch of the people who worked on the tracks, like on this track, Crystal Clear, Zach Farrow did drums, Joey Howard did bass, Haley Williams did vocals and keys, um, Taylor York, who was also the producer, um, did additional instrumentation, and Haley Williams's granddad, Rusty Williams, did vocals and piano, and there was also a little snippet of the song on, on Friends or Lovers by by Haley's granddad and here are a bunch of the other tracks and I'm going to show you this sec this part of the album right now. So here is the booklet that comes inside. Here's the front of it and then here is the and then here is all of the tracks. Next and it says right here it was produced by Taylor York. And um you know all these people right here. Hold on, let me try and get the camera to focus. There we go. Yeah, and it's a bunch of the people who worked on the tracks and, um, you know, all the people who, who did the producing and the stuff like that and the sampling and stuff. And there's not much on it. Um, it's kind of basic. And, yeah, that's the inside of the booklet. Here is the side of the album with Atlantic Records on it and Haley Williams's name on it, Paddles for Armor and some little numbers there. And it's the same here on... Uh, this side right here, and that was the overall um, CD showcase of Haley Williams's Paddles for Armor. All right, so the next album we have on our hand is Panic at the Disco's Too Weird to Live, Too Rare to Die. And on the front of it, you can see that it has featuring the singles Miss Jackson featuring Lolo. Oh, and this is gospel and a warning sign for moderate impact, coarse languages, and or themes. And you've also got um, over here, some of the code stuff, some stuff like such as the Decadence, um, and the Fueled by Ramen, which is Panic, Panic's record, and, you know, just a bunch of the texts such as, you know, Fueled by Ramen, stuff like that, and 2013, and all that stuff, uh, and on the front of it, it has Brendan Yuri um, smoking right outside, um, um, Las Vegas, and it's got, like, the purple, the, the multicolored, like, smoke coming out of it. Here's the side of it. Hold on, let me get the camera to focus. 
I don't think it can focus well. Let's see. Uh, you can't really see it that well, but it says it has some little numbers there and panic at this go and two or two try to die and take nance slash field by ramen. And then here's the back of it, which has Brendan Urie in a car and you can see his eyes and his forehead there. And you've got all of the 10 tracks there. Panic at the sky.com, field by ramen.com, take dance, Ants.com, Butch Walker, and a little code. And now we're going to open the inside of this album. So here is the inside of the case right here. You got the little writing from before, and here's the CD for the album. It's, um, it is basically a little, um, panic at the disc, and it's, it's, um, basically has the title of the band and the album right here, and, you know, it has the little Las Vegas city in it, and produced by Butch Walker and Dick and the Panic labels and all the recordings belong to Field by Ramen. And if you remove the CD, you will get a... Oh, God. It's okay. You get a little photo of the bandmates, Brendan Yuri, Dallin Weeks, and Spencer Smith, or the bandmates at the time, outside on, like, a little pool, or outside in a motel or a hotel or something. But, yeah, these were the Panic at the Disco bandmates at the time before... Panic became a solo project. You have Brendan, Dallin, and Spencer there. And then on this one right here, you once again have the little Fueled by Ramen, Dick Nance text right there, along with Brendan Yuri on a little on a little car or driving around on Las Vegas. Now a lot of the photo shoots for this era of the band was mainly focused on Brendan, but it also did occasionally have Dallin and uh, Spencer on it. And Dallin and Spencer on it. And now I'm going to show you the inside of this little piece of paper right here, so I'll be right back. So I just had a little peek through through this little book here, and it's actually full of very interesting things. Well, not much. It's mainly just filled with, like, lyrics and stuff. But look, it's, like, filled with, like, different photo shoots from, like, the band and the Sarah. For example, you've got this photo shoot here of Brendan. And then you got a photo shoot of the band at the time in here, along with the lyrics of, of each different song. So I'm going to show you all the different photos. Look, this one right here has like Spencer looking out in like a hotel room. Then there's um, Brendan Urie. Yeah, that's Brendan Urie nearby like a car. Along with the lyrics for Vegas Lights and Girls That Love You. At Girl That Love You and Nicotine. And over here you have an entire like shot of the band on a motel like, um, like Skyline. Yeah, no, railing, that's what I was meant to say, derp, um, along with the lyrics of girls slash girls slash girls and casual affair. Then you've got an image of uh, Down Weeks here, along with another image of the band right there. don't know if you can see it very well. And Brendan right there, and then there's Dallin. And then over here you've got one final photo of Brendan Yuri here, and it interestingly says that Panic at the Disco is Brendan Yuri, Spencer Smith, and Dallin Weeks. And here are all the people that worked on the track right here. And it's interesting how they how it says that, even though let's be real, let's just say that that wouldn't age well. So yeah, that was the inside of the booklet, and I'll just go and put that back in right now. And that was the end of uh, To It To Live To To Die by Panic At The Sky, okay, their final ever album as a band, and uh, I'll move on to the next CD. Our third album next is the self-titled Paramore album. Album. Um, this came out during the four four year long hiatus between Brand New Eyes and this album, and and um, it's of course with the Paramore logo from this little era. And in the front cover, you have of course former member and now turned SoundCloud rapper Jeremy Davis, um, Taylor York, who's still a member, and Haley Williams, who's now a solo artist. And it's the, and it says here the new album that includes n that n that includes now and still into you, and um, here's the side of it where it just says Paramore and Fueled by Ramen and a little code number, and on this side it says the same thing but with little colors added in it, and um, now I'm gonna go and get this uh, bad baby opened up right now. So here is the album now open up as you can see. You've got the, uh, the, you know, the green text, 
the green background with the with a little spray paint with a little black spray paint with some white text saying Paramore, or with the three lines representing Haley, Jeremy, and Taylor. And here is the CD. It's a uh, wait. Hold on. Let me see if I can get CD with the right hand. So it's basically black. Um, it's basically with black lines that represent the band with the Paramore uh, name on it. And uh, and if you open it up, it says. As it's Haley Williams with the words "grow up" written on her back, on her on her jacket. So that is basically what you get when you open up this this um, CD. And I'm now going to open, show you this side right now to show you what it includes right now. And here is the little booklet with um, the members on it, and it looks pretty naked without that big Paramore label on it. Now we are going to flip inside and see what's inside of it. I've not seen anything inside of it. So it looks like it's um, filled with nothing but just the lyrics of it. Oh, not fully. It's got a really cool white line on it. And uh, oh, look at this. A little Paramore photo shoot with the band's name on it and some black lines. With, and some black lines and of course the members at the time. All right, that's pretty cool. And um, over here, it we have some little interlude tracks as well as the words Paramore written on that and some more little analytes and here is the um the uh the inside of the album album so yeah here it is and it interestingly says that Paramore is Haley Williams, Jeremy Davis and Taylor York and it says that he that Taylor just did the guitar that's not true Taylor also did do drums, but he only did drums on like the EP and he didn't do drums on like any of the actual albums. That was all done by Alan Rubin, according to Wikipedia. And it says that all the tracks were written by just Haley Williams and Taylor York, which we know that isn't true because Jeremy Davis wrote all the, you know, all the songs that would be featured on this album, but just wasn't credited on it, except for this little interlude where it says that he did the work. And that is, um, and yeah, that is just the overall uh, inside of this little booklet, and um, I'm gonna put it back in right now. So thus, that was the ins that was um, the entire self-titled Paramore album, and let's move on to the next one. The fourth album we're gonna be doing a CD showcase on is "Pretty Odd" by Panic at the Disco, or as it's shown on the on the cover of this album, "Welcome to the Sound of Pretty Odd." This was a very polarizing album at the time when this was released back in 2008 because this album had a very different, like, it was very folk inspired. And by folk, I mean like 50s and 60s inspired. So it was a very, um, it was a very different sounding album for all the bands that were in the scene at the time. And of course, you have over here the little text saying "Panic at the Disco" with no exclamation mark, featuring "Night in the Afternoon." That and that green gentleman. Things have changed. And over here, you got the little text saying "Panic at the Disco." Pretty odd. Here, let me see if I can get a close up. There, that's the closest you're gonna get to it. Um, and then over here on the side, you have "Panic at the Disco." Pretty odd. And then on the back, here you have. Produced by Rob Mathis with very interesting text for Rob Mathis. And you've got Decadence and Field by Ramen, which were the labels. And you've got the overall 15 tracks, starting from We're So Starving to Mad as Rabbits. Now, and of course you have the same thing on the back. And now I figured let's get this little folk-inspired weird inspiration piece of art open. So here is the inside of the album with the little labels on it and you've got the little CD which is all which is in this very interesting sort of like cloud like photo and you've got the band name right there Panic at the Disco on the side and Pretty Odd right there and if you remove and you've also got and if you remove Pretty Odd there you've got overall this little section let me see if I can get it in focus I don't think I can um, trying my hardest here, guys. That's that's it right there, Brendan, and it's got little text um from uh from the panic guys. Brendan is thanking his family, and Ryan is thanking his um band and family, and Spencer's thanking his family, and 
I want to know John is thanking his family, and so is um, Spencer. So they're all thanking their family members for it, and Rob Mathis is saying something. I, of course, can't um, read it, but yeah, that's it right there. And um, now I'm going to get this uh, little booklet um, open up. We have now gotten the little booklet open. Here it is. Here's the front and here's the back of it. Now we are going to open it and see what it has in store with us. I have no idea either. So we start off with the lyrics for We're So Starving and then Nine in the Afternoon. And then we get the lyrics for she, he's a, She's a Handsome Woman and Do You Know What I'm Seeing and That Green Gentleman and I Have Friends in Holy Spaces. This is Northern Downpour, When the Day Met the Night, um, Pass de Cheval, The Piano Knows Something I Don't, Behind the Sea, which was the only other Panic at the Disco song, not which was the only Panic at the Disco song ever to not be sung by Brennan. It was sung by entirely by Ryan. And here's an image of a band. You've got Brendan sitting over there, Spencer up there, Ryan there, and John there. Then you've got Falcon Around, which was the only song that made it onto the album that was from an originally scrapped album called, or, or, the original Panic at the Disco number two album called Crooked and Clover. And then you have She Had the World. And then, then you have, have From a Mountain Behind the, From a Mountain in the Cabin, in the Middle of the Cabins, From a Mountain in the Middle of the Cabins. That's his title, Mad as Rabbit. And here's another photo shoot of the band. And then you've got specific images of Brendan here. Uh, let me see if I can try and get this in high quality. Uh, so here's Brendan. Here's Ryan. Here's Spencer. And here's John. And uh, here's the credits. Here's the credits for the entire um, album. And yeah, and that was the little booklet. I'm now going to put this back in. And um, yeah, that's what it's right now. And uh, that was the album. And um, now we overall have one album left to review. So let's review it now. The final album we are going to be taking a look at is the second My Chemical Romance album that I actually ha own, and this is the Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge, and and this is the front of it. Uh, you've got the blood little line there, the blood red line there. You've got the little title here, the little band name here with the M. Excuse me, with mixing in with both the chemical and the romance, and then you've got a couple here. You know, kissing, which I'm assuming is the couple from the story. I like to pretend this is um Frank Ayero, one of the bandmates, and this is his wife Jamia. And you've got a little warning sign because of some coarse languages and or themes. And then here's the text of it. You've got the blood red text for. Hold on, let me see if I can make that better. There we go. You can somewhat see that. You got the blood red three cheers for sweet revenge, and then you got the the band's um label, and the overall band name, and over here on the back you have um all the tracks, all um thirteen tracks, and you've got the producer Howard Benson and and the mixers and you know all the stuff, and then you've got the band, and um you got Gerard, Mikey, Frank, and Ray, and Eva and Matt Palicia, not. Bob Breyer, a lot of people think that this was Bob Breyer's album because, you know, this was Bob Breyer's first album because he appeared in the music videos. That's not true. Um, the drums were all done by this guy in the background right here, Matt Policier. In fact, in fact, Matt Policier actually appeared in an early version of the I'm Not Okay music video. Before it got switched into a school, it was actually into like a school set music video, which we know and love. It was actually like a, a like the band performing in all sorts of different locations. And, um... Yeah, I'm going to get this bad boy uh, open right now. So here is the inside of the album. Over here you have um, what appear what looks like a little movie poster with like these guys starring at uh, the band starring as the main characters and and it has here the story of a man, a woman and the corpses of a thousand evil men 
and um, this is the inside of it and over here you have the little DVD with all the tracks and a little cross here with a little flame in it and of course you've got the band and the title name on it and if you remove it you of course get a woman what appears to be on a little surgical bed right here so yeah that's it right there and now I'm gonna get this um, open up right now so over here you have got the overall like CD artwork right here and then you've got a trail of snow leading down all the way down to a cross here with all the lyrics from the songs and you've got a little memory this was dedicated to the memory of Alina Lee Rush and Maria Jo Santos this album was dedicated to them and um and over here you've got um MCR thanking all their fans and all the band members thanking all their individuals but yeah you've got like MCR on that um on that little postcard thanking all their like friends and family and um I have to end this video right now so bye